Okay. This is going to be a short one. But this game was kind of like um kind of like the forbidden fruit of games for me when I was a kid because I kept seeing it in places and I never got to own it myself. So it's, you know, it's the it's the Tide Pod of my childhood. And that game is Bust a Move. Or is it supposed to be called Puzzle Bobble? I don't know why it's called Bust a Move in America. There's Bub. There's Bob. Uh, they're, they're dragons. Who I think are supposed to be kids. Actually, I know they're supposed to be kids because I've played Bubble Bobble, which is the main game that they're in. Yeah, that's fine. Uh-huh. So there's kind of a, a main progression mode, which... I don't know. I don't know how long it is. It's capturing, right? And you could hear it all right. So the way the game works is you just line up... You don't, you don't get this guide after stage one. You line up where you want to toss these little marbles, and when you match four or more, or three or more, excuse me, they burst. That's pretty cool. It's a neat little, neat little game. And it's funny because in America, I think this is more popular than the actual game that Bub and Bob are from. Also note that there's two Bubs and no Bobs at the bottom. I think this game is a fair bit more popular than the actual like, game that these two dragons are from. Which I find kind of amusing. I've actually streamed, uh, one of the Bubble Bobble games before, but on the old stream. If I can get MAME working, like, without any issues, I might consider trying to restream it. Even though it's not really much of a restream, because I didn't beat it the first time. I, I played it for one stream and stopped. But it's also a one stream game, I feel. You saw a million clones just like this. Yeah, this game was a uh, clone to high hell. Yeah, another neat thing. Uh, if you blow up the marbles at the top, all the rest of them just kind of break apart and fall down. Very simplistic, but very fun. And honestly, after yesterday... Alright, so these, I think when you hit them, it, they explode. Yep. They just kind of ignite everything. But yeah, it's a very simplistic game, but after yesterday, and seeing that uh, that video that Ego Raptor put up... ...about his uh, cancelled puzzle game... ...I was like, man, I'm really in the mood for a... Uh, ...kind of a match puzzler. But I didn't also, I also didn't want to play Tetris or Puyo because I'm like, ah, uh, I want to play Puyo Puyo Tetris someday. And I don't want to burn myself out on that series before then. So Lightning, I think, just clears a, uh, a row. Why not Mean Bean Machine? That's Puyo. It's, it's literally just Puyo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Fucked up. There we go. Which is very similar. No, no, it's not very similar to Puyo. It is Puyo. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine and Kirby's Avalanche are just Puyo Puyo, like, licensed Puyo Puyo games. I don't exactly know why Bub and Bob are like the mascot of this game when it really has nothing to do with the game they're from. But, you know, I don't make the rules. <laughs> I don't make the corporate decisions at Taito. Oh my god, give me some matches here. So yeah, obviously, if you take too long, you're in for a bad time.
This game's just not giving me what I want. Whew. If you've learned one thing from those, it's that you really, really, really suck at Puyo games. Uh, I'm not too good at them either, honestly. I'm not good at setting up combos in Puyo. Alright, let's see if I can line this up. I wish you could, um, use the, uh, the guide marker, like, further in. I don't know how long this game is, actually. Also, I don't know what those marbles up there are for. Oh, why would you give me green? Obviously, if once the uh, marbles go past that bottom line, you are screwed six ways from Sunday. So that just made waterfall, and I didn't see it do anything. Nice. I met this one kid who told me that he had a Genesis with only that Mean Bean game. I had Mean Bean on the uh, Game Gear, which was one of like the two games I owned for that system. I had Mean Bean, Sonic 2, and um, my brother had VR Troopers. Which was like a show that he was like, kind of interested in, but only because there was nothing else to watch. It was just like knockoff Power Rangers, mostly. Or really, it was another, you know, it was another one of those Super Sentai shows that they like, localized. That nowadays, if you bring it up, people are like, oh, Power Rangers, you're troopers. I only watch Boku no uh, uh, Common Ranger... Zero XXX O Which don't get me wrong, I'm I'm not I don't watch Toku. I am very appreciative of it because it's some of the funniest stuff that you can watch in Japanese because a lot of it does not take itself seriously. Oh man, you only have limited credits. Really? Oh, look, I have the guide now. I guess when you have to use a continue, they let you use it. Bank this up there? No, it doesn't look like I can. It's gonna get stuck. Shit. Ah, uh, nope, not gonna get in there. So obviously there's like a strategy to kind of just banking them all into a corner. But even, because the thing is like not only do the bubbles all fall, but then the ceiling also lowers, so... There'll come a point where you just can't keep up anymore. This round is just annoying, though.
The nice thing though is that once you're down to like a couple colors, they don't start uh, like throwing a million different colors at you. They'll give you, I think, what you need to clear it. Anyway, one day he showed me on an emulator he played, he just blasted through all the stages like a mad C word without losing once. <laughs> I mean, if you're good at the game, you could plow through Mean Bean Machine or Puyo really easily. Alright, this looks annoying. There's like nowhere to go here but wedging it. You can actually use the LR buttons to kind of just slowly move the thing, but it's not always that great. It's too slow. I just want to get good at it. I can't begin to imagine how you plan to build up any combo. It's just way too chaotic. You know, you just get into the groove after a while. It's really just a matter of practice until you're good. Oh, not good. I could really use a gray. Plan that one out. I keep thinking they're gonna bank a lot farther than they do. It's this. It's very, very stiff in how they move, and that's intentional. Like there's no way I'd be able to get it up between that red and the yellow. I'm bungling it. Dead. It's nice that they at least give you the guide marker back. Are you kidding me? Come on. This, however, was a good move. I feel like this game is almost too hard without the guide marker. At least you should know where you're shooting this stuff. Getting that to the red. However, I can maybe. Nope, never mind. See, now I can't even get this up there because it's it's too much. There we go. Also, why didn't that go to the left? I guess it only goes one direction, and the other ones were at the edge, so I couldn't tell. This is way slower paced than the actual, like, Bubble Bobble games. If you've seen those, they're pretty chaotic. They're also not the same kind of puzzle game. They're not, like, turn-based. It's very much a frantic, like, kind of platformer puzzle. Which, it's not even really a puzzle game. It's, it is more of just a straight-up platformer. Like, single-room platformer. Huh. 
Not bad. I can go for about another 10 minutes or so. It's very, very odd difficulty level. Like, some of them are really easy and some of them are just, like, ridiculous with what you need to do. Almost makes me feel like I'm missing something. Oh, that was that was a bad move on my part. some matches here. Ah, they're just giving me junk. They're giving me junk because I didn't do it right. Alright, wait a minute. There might be a way to clear this all. No, I fucked it up. clear here. Alright, so we got black balls now. Or marbles or whatever. Do I listen to any podcasts? Uh, n sort of. I listen to um, I listen to the Voiceover Experts podcast on Voices.com. That does not update very often, though. Like this past, like last summer, when I was kind of taking, helping, taking care of my mom after her surgery. Which, don't get me wrong, I wasn't doing a whole lot. <laughs> she could do a lot on her own. Um, that whole summer, I was just kind of. Uh, Nice. Um, I was kind of studying voiceover because that was the point where I was like, you know what, I really want to make an attempt at this again. And at the time, I was like, I don't have time for auditions right now. I don't have the energy for it. So I just started listening to a bunch of those podcasts. And uh, I learned a lot from it, but... Why is the background different now? But you know, learning is nothing if I can't apply it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, that's the only answer I can give, really. I don't, I don't have any other podcasts that I watch. Excuse me. Listen to, rather. I 
I mean, the problem is I already watch too much shit on YouTube every day. So it's like... I don't really want to add a bunch of podcasts on top of that. In fact, I, if anything, I want to try cutting shit out because... There's just too much distracting me at times. This game hates me. Come on. I am just bungling it hard here. There we go. After Vinci... Vinci? Vinci? Who's Vinci? After Vinny mentioned it a million times, I took the time to listen to the last podcast on the left recently. And while it's funny, I'm not sure I'll be keep listening to any more episodes. Oh. Why? It wasn't your thing? What was the point of that? What does that do? Why, why'd I do that? Like an idiot. Vinshot. Topics are very hit or miss. That's where Poopergeist came from, right? Come on, me. What is going on here? There you go. We like the ones about the Black Widows and the Serial Killer Ladies, but the Lemuria and Alien ones, not so much. Lemuria. See, the only, the only reason I know of the term Lemuria is because of Golden Sun. I know it's a real... Supposedly real place, or is it a real place? I have no fucking clue. I have absolutely no clue. I don't know how many rounds this is. It's probably way more than I can beat. I gotta remember to realign myself, because whenever those things drop, then my alignment's gonna be off with the, uh, sh fires. The, the. With my shot trajectory, rather. That's what I meant to say. My fires. The fuck is wrong with me sometimes, I swear. That's where I know it from, too. It's a conspiracy that I'll a lost continent that got way out of hand because conspiracy nuts and early 2000s internet. Yeah, early 2000s internet ruined everything. Come to think of it, modern internet also ruins everything. I think this might be my last stage. I'm gonna have to stop after this. Uh, don't have any other way I could go here. They're really not giving me the tools to succeed here. Useless purple marble. God. Help me. People ruin everything. Yeah, exactly. That's why we should all be furries instead. Not people. Actually, no. Furries ruin everything, too. They just ruin it adorably. And sometimes with multiple dicks. Anyway, that's gonna be it for tonight. 
Uh, I will save my spot on here. Maybe I'll come back to this. I don't know if, um... I don't know if there's a way to... Like, there's a password system, but I don't know when you get it. So I'm gonna save state right there. Alright, yeah, it tells you your password. Round 23, score 15, 26, 31, 0. Blah, 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 challenge record. So the challenge record resets, because I actually tried that out before stream. But that's just an endless mode until you, until you get, uh, until you die. I guess player two plays as, uh, Bob, but player one stuck as Bub. I don't, I don't remember what the password was, but that's fine, because I could just load the game. Anyway... I'm done for the night. I gotta get going. I will see you next week. Next week's AGDQ. I don't know how that's gonna affect my streaming. Probably not much, because there's not a whole lot I want to watch. Um, so I'll try to get two streams in next week. I don't know if I'll continue this. I might just move on to uh, Metal Gear Solid like I originally planned to. But uh, we'll see what happens. So anyway, thank you for coming. You guys have a great evening and weekend, and I will see you next week. You're starting to work next week again, Nox, so you're not going to be here anymore. That sucks. But I appreciate you coming by greatly. Thank you very much. Excuse me. <sighs> Gotta remember to breathe when I talk. It's cool. Thank you for coming the last couple weeks. I really appreciate it. I will hopefully be back in contact with the people. Because there's someone that usually comes to my streams that hasn't been here in a while. Don't worry about it, dude. Uh, it, it means a lot to me that you came in the first place. Ah. But anyway, I'm gonna get going now. Uh, I'll talk to you later, and I'll see you around. Good night.